Understanding to be on the outs, a phrase breakdown. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting phrase, to be on the outs. This is a phrase you might come across in movies, books, or even in everyday conversations. So, if you've ever been puzzled about what it means and how to use it, you're in the right place. To be on the outs is an idiomatic expression in English. It means to be in disagreement or conflict with someone else. This phrase usually implies that the disagreement is not just a one-time argument, but a longer-term issue affecting the relationship. It's important to understand that this phrase typically refers to a strained or broken relationship, whether it's between friends, family members, or even groups. The phrase, to be on the outs, has an interesting origin. It comes from the older expression, out of favor, which dates back to the 19th century. The word, outs, here represents being outside the normal or favorable conditions of a relationship. Knowing this can help you remember the phrase and its meaning. Let's see some examples of how to use, to be on the outs, in sentences. 1. Ever since the argument, John and Mark have been on the outs. 2. I think the two companies have been on the outs since the deal fell through. 3. We've been on the outs for a while now, I don't remember the last time we talked. These examples show different contexts where the phrase can be used, highlighting its versatility. English is rich with expressions. Similar phrases to, to be on the outs, include, to be at odds, to be in a rift, to have a falling out. While these phrases share similarities, each has its unique nuance, which is crucial for language learners to understand. And that's a wrap on, to be on the outs. I hope this video has shed light on this interesting phrase and helped you understand how to use it in different contexts. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the little nuances that make it rich and vibrant. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use, to be on the outs, in your conversations. Until next time, happy learning!